Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Grayline Overland, and today we're going to be doing a how-to video. And what we're going to be teaching you is how to import a GPX file into Gaia G GPS so that you can plan out your route effectively. So what we're going to show you first is we're going to show you, first of all, where to go to find Gaia GPS and um, what kind of memberships they have. We're going to be doing everything today on the free version so that you know that everything that I do today can be done on the free version. Okay, so now what I'm going to show you is the different memberships for Guy GPS. Okay, membership pricing, you have the free version and it only allows for like um, discover hikes, plan trips, navigate, record data, uh, things like that. And you get Gaia Topo for a layer. You only get one layer. When you go up to the membership, I think you get like five layers, maybe a little bit more um, layers than that. But it's only $17 a year. Um, and when you go to the premium, which is what I have, it is $36 a year. I have to say the premium is definitely worth it. Um, they have one year and five year plans. I really don't see a big benefit in doing five year because you really don't save that much. But the one year for $36 is really a valuable tool. We've had it and it really does make route planning so much easier with the fact that we don't have to get out the old maps and do the plotting out like we used to. It, and not to mention the fact that we have it on our screen right in front of us. So anytime we feel like we're getting off course, we just look over there and it gives us where we're at on the trail and the, and the trail itself and where we're supposed to be. So it's a pretty good tool. Uh, and we don't have to waste time getting out of the vehicle and pulling out the big maps and going that route and you know figuring out where we're at. So it's a really awesome tool to have with you and it's one that everyone who does overlanding and trail riding probably has in their rig right now. The biggest problem that I found whenever I was learning to do this is that I was looking on YouTube and all the videos were super long and way more in depth than what I needed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it up. I'm just gonna do something simple and then we're gonna build off of that in the videos to come. Today, like I said, we're only showing you how to start it and how to download those GPX files to make your routes simple and easy, okay? So these are the premium, these are the memberships. We have a premium membership, but I'm gonna be doing it in the free membership. So here we go, let's get started, all right? So we've already downloaded a couple of them in here, not very many because I was just doing that for practice and so I could make sure I uh, had everything straight. So this is your basic overview of Gaia GPS and this is the map view, okay? So you've got all this over here, overlays, layers, things like that. We won't really be talking about that today. We'll do that in a later date. But what we're gonna be doing is this uh, import data right here. And you can also do it over here in the drop down menu as well where it says upload. And we're gonna do, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna do it from the upload menu over here and do it that way. So first thing we've gotta do is we've got to locate our GPX file. So what we're gonna do, and just so y'all know, uh, I like to use this website, Funtrax. If, if they've got a trail map, it's actually one of the better ones to use because they have uh, like a, a book that you can follow along for the waypoints and stuff like that. Another good one is All Trails. So if you can find one from Fun Treks and all tra or All Trails, you always have good guidance on those, okay? So we're gonna download the map for Holcomb Creek Trail in Big Bear. So we're gonna type in Holcomb Creek Trail. And, oh, we forgot to do Holcomb Creek Trail GPX file. There we are. And of course, the first one, like always, is All Trails. And I'm just going to show you the All Trails website real quick so that you'll know how to do it, okay? Uh, when you come here, it'll give you an overview of this. And then let's say you want to uh, download the route. You just come to More right here and it says Download Route. You're going to click on that and it's going to download the route. All right, but, uh, or, well, first you've got to sign in. Uh, you've got to create an account. It's a free account. You just create a free account, and bada boom, bada bing, you've got access to all their trails. And All Trails really has more trails in their uh, repository than anybody, but Fun Treks are a little bit better, and you can get the book to go along with it. So that's why I like to use Fun Treks. 
So we're going to go down here and we're going to look and see if Fun Tricks has one. I know they do. And if they don't, because I have the book, I'm going to do something else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Fun Tricks. So I always look for Fun Tricks ones first. And actually, I spelled that wrong. But here it is Fun Tricks. All right. So <clears throat> on the Fun Tricks website, it's really easy. All you do is scroll down here, and it's set right here where it says download track log and waypoints for this trail only. You click it right there. You hit agree. Bam, it's going to the download. Now it is downloaded, and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Gaia right here. And by the way, when you're doing route planning, do your route planning ahead of time if at all possible. I mean, you can do this stuff on your phone, and it's just it's, it's really easy to do that way as well. But if you do it at home, you have more features available on the computer uh, to do things like make your custom waypoints and stuff like that. And it just makes it a lot easier. Okay. So we're going to go to the drop down menu and hit upload. All right. We're going to select files. And here we are. We've got Holcomb Creek. We're going to, and we're going to say, uh, click on choose for upload. All right, as you can see, we've got, these are the waypoints that it's downloaded in there, and this is the Holcomb Creek Trail itself. We want all of that because we want to have the waypoints and the trail, so we're going to hit Save For, and you'll see it's all imported now. Okay, so we have, it says you have imported four items, and as you can see, it has brought it up right here. Okay, so... Let's zoom out just a little bit. And we're going to click just anywhere on that purple trail right there. And it's going to bring up the information over here to the left and show us the different things about it. Okay. You can also get driving directions to it, which is really easy. All you do is when you, uh, whenever you get in the car, you just uh, click the drop down menu in the car, the little three dots. If you're on an iPhone, um, you just click on those little three dots on the information about the trail and it will give you driving directions to the start of the trail. And the good thing about uh, Fun Treks is, is they always have like a waypoint at the beginning of their trails. And that's, what I, that's one of the reasons I really like their, um, their GPX files is because of that. So I, if nothing else, I could just click on that waypoint and hit give me driving directions if I didn't, if I wanted to go to a different spot, they have it on the beginning and the end usually. So if I wanted to go to a different spot, I could just click on that and it would take me there all right so that's it I mean for importing a file it that is it that's all there is to it it's really simple um, I will say this that if you don't have Gaia you, you really need to because it's kind of the industry standard and in, or the for all off-roaders you know everyone uses it and if they're not using that they're using Onyx off-road and Onyx off-road is pretty good too but it's, it just seems more user-friendly with Gaia. And I, I've, I've talked to some guys that work with Onyx, and they they really do listen to people. And there might be a point in time whenever they actually um, are on par with Gaia. But as of right now, I'm, I don't feel like they are. I'm a big fan of Gaia. And also, like I said, I'm a big fan of Fun Treks. So check out their guidebooks if they have one in your state. There's not very many of them. But the ones that they do have, they're really awesome, and they got great details. So... That's it, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us out and gets the word out to other people. Till next time, I hope to see you on the trail.